to regaining control. What were the things that? I think the, you know the big thing was in jail and shot making. I think uh, Josh, you know, making great hustle plays, and then you can't say enough about the offensive rebound that Jules got at the end. That was, that was a monster play, and then Quinton making the two free throws. So, but look, the, you know, the rebounding I thought was was key for us. Um, they're a terrific team. We know we're going to have to play a lot better than we did tonight. Coach, you mentioned Josh. Your bench outscored the Cavaliers 37 to 14. How much of an advantage is your depth? Well, I think it's huge. I think, it, yeah, I thought that Obi gave us really good minutes, and you know, we got hit with some things tonight. And I think some of the silver lining was the last month we had different guys out, so those other guys had to step in. So Jalen getting into foul trouble early. That changed rotations. Julius, you know, we, we knew first game back, his rotations were going to be different. I thought Obi gave us really good minutes, um, and I thought that was huge. Uh, the start of the third, I didn't like that, but I, I liked the way we finished the third. I thought we played really well at the end of the third. Um, and they, their team, they keep coming at you, you know, so they, yeah, I give them a lot of credit. They play hard. They play tough. Donovan is... You know, a tough car, you can defend them great, and he still has the ability to make. Garland keeps a lot of pressure on you. They're two bigs, very, very active. And for Randall, he hasn't played in 17 days. He's working on the ankle recovery, 19, 10, 4, and 2. How would you describe the grit that you got? Yeah, from just, him? yeah, and, and you, you, the people that are around him, we all know you're going to get everything he has. Uh, he, Julius played in 77 games till he sprained his ankle. He, did, you know, he practiced every day. So he, not, he doesn't. What you see in the games, what you see in practice, you know. So you're going to get whatever he has. And I knew if he could go, he would go. You know that, that that's Julius. And so um, I thought he had a very strong start to the game. I, and, and like I said, the the rebound was huge, huge. Is that probably a lot of view when he comes out and not only shows he can play, but he's playing like himself early? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the thing is, is we know how important he is to the team. So I think when everyone's willing to sacrifice and, and put everything they have into something, that makes you a strong team. And so we had a number of guys, you know, I thought Mitch had some really good plays for us early. I thought Isaiah was terrific throughout. Um, you know, and we need everyone. So everyone has to be willing to sacrifice and put everything they have into it and just find a way to win. Uh, you know, Donovan at 38, just a lot of pressure on you at all times. So we got to be ready for that. But we're going to have to play a lot better defensively in the next game. Tom, what kind of advantage is the way, this bench, the, the way your bench is playing right now? Obviously, even with Quick, not having his best game. Just how much of Yeah, and, and, you know, and the same thing like with Quick. You know, I think he was, he was plus eight or, you know, and he didn't shoot well, but he, we know he can play well when he doesn't shoot well. So guard somebody, make some hustle plays, be in the right uh, help position. Uh, we know that we're going to have to fly around. He can do things like that. So if you're not shooting well, just find a way to help the team. And, and that's what I like about the way he plays. How about, how about Hart? I mean, Obviously, out of the rebounds and defense, but to even hit that shot with like 146 remaining. Yeah, I think I think you guys have heard like that's what I love about him is that, like when I say playmaker, I'm not talking about traditional sense of the pass. Um, playmaker is what the game needs. So if you need a big shot, you don't provide that. If you need a big rebound, provide that. If you need a stop defensively, provide that. If you need a loose ball. That's what he is. He's a playmaker. And, uh, he's gonna make hustle plays. You know, make tough plays. He's a great competitor, uh, and he just play. He plays to win. There's no agenda other than winning with him. Well, you guys tonight made a lot of loose ball plays. I mean, even that second to last offensive rebound, the Harden time one was yeah. was kind of a, a long rebound play. Why were you guys so successful? On, on the well, you know, the first quarter I thought we were flying around and we had deflected a couple that they had gotten to. And so I think just the the pursuit and multiple effort and that that's what you have to do. And oftentimes that's the difference right there. And so uh, give everything you have on every play.
What, you mentioned that you didn't like the defense. What, what didn't you like about the defense? The, the defense, I just felt like we didn't finish as well as we needed to. And so you can get the initial part right, but there's going to be a second and third effort required of you and to stay connected. So whether it's ball pressure, tracing the ball, stunts, uh, reading the ball, moving on the flight of the ball, reading flat drive, penetrating drive, uh, challenge the shot correctly, get back to a body, uh, all those things. <coughs> and so you, we can't pick and choose when we do it. And so it has to be on every play. Mitchell had 38 tonight. Uh, what, what do you think of the, the way that you guys guard again? Yeah, it, you know, like the, the thing is, we, we obviously got to do a lot better, you know. And, uh, you know, he's a tough cover. Uh, but we'll take a look at the film and see how we can improve. Uh, you know, we know we're going to have to be tougher. Uh, we're going to have to play better. Tom, you, during the regular season, you hurt them on the glass, and you obviously hurt them again on the glass today. Is that an area because they're obviously the two guys who are always looking for blocking shots? Is that kind of an area you think you guys can do well against them? You know, the, the one thing about them is that they're long and they're athletic and they're, and they're also quick to the ball. So you, you got to get a body to them. You know, and so I think for us, it's you know, it's one of the things we do well. We're, we've been a good rebounding team all year. We know that that's a big part of our game. So we're going to have to continue to do it, uh, and we're going to have to do it better. Tom, you mentioned with Julius, you know that you're going to get whatever he's got when he's out there. What kind of lift do you think he gave the group just by being out there to start? Yeah, a, a lot. Back? You know, in, in uh, you know, I think. When you look at the team and the willingness to commit to the team, so we had, uh, you know, Obi went through a stretch earlier, and he got back as soon as he could, and then Jalen went through a stretch, and he he did what he had to do, and then the thing that I like, and then Julius, of course, doing the same thing. You're not replacing Julius, and you're not replacing Jalen individually. We have to do that collectively with our team. So your margin of error is smaller. The intensity has to be greater. Uh, but I'm proud of the, the guys that did step in. It's an, also an opportunity for them to get into different roles and grow. And so that's the way we look at it. And then we want the guy who, who got injured to put everything he has into the rehab. And I think the dependability is a, a big part of the league. And to be able to count on each other is important. So we don't want anyone out there who's injured. We don't want to put anyone in harm's way. But if, if you can give us something, give us what you have. And that's that's what I'm proud of Julius for. He gave us what he had. To change up his uh, rotation in his minutes, did, was that because of his conditioning or you just well, careful? Well, well, no, yeah, no, he just, you know, we just, we talked about it before the game. You know, like if you needed to come out, come out, get your, get your, get, a, get a breather and then get back in. So that's basically what we were doing. And, uh, you know, it worked out. Is there a certain amount of minutes you wanted no, to do? No, no. I mean, like there's there's guidelines. You, you know, like, what his normal minutes are. And so if he needs he needs a blow, we'll get, we'll get him out, let him get his breather, get him back in. And I thought Obi gave us really good minutes. So it was good. I thought that helped keep him fresh down the stretch. And, you know, that was a, was a big-time rebound he got late. 26 points off turnovers for the backs. Cleveland in regular season wasn't giving up a lot. How big is that game on the road? How much of those points matter? A lot, dude. I mean, we need, you know, every every bucket's important. Getting some easy baskets is key. You know, the, we know how good their defense is. The numbers tell you that. We